This is Twit. In a cool bit of news, ICANN, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, is going to make an assignment. Uh, it's in the process of designating and reserving, get this, a top-level domain specifically for use on private internal networks. In other words, our 10 dot and our 192.168 dot networks, and there's a 17.16 thing in there too, will be obtaining an official TLD of their own. So local host may soon be less lonely. Here's the executive summary, which explains and lays out the rationale behind ICANN's plans. They wrote, in this document, the SSAC, that's the Security and Stability Advisory Committee, because, you know, you know, that's what you want in your Internet is some security and stability advising. They recommend the reservation of a DNS label that does not and cannot correspond to any current or future delegation from the root zone of the global DNS, which is the very long-winded way of saying we're going to get our own dot something, TLD. They said this label can then serve as the top-level domain name of a privately resolvable namespace that will not collide with the resolution of names delegated from the root zone. That is, you know, the, the public DNS root zone. In order for this to work properly, this reserved private use TLD must never be delegated in the global DNS route. Currently, many enterprises and device vendors make ad hoc use of TLDs that are not present in the root zone when they intend the name for private use only. This usage is uncoordinated and can cause harm to Internet users. Oh, my. The DNS has no explicit provision for internally scoped names. And current advice is for the vendors or service providers to use a subdomain of a public domain name for internal or private use. Using subdomains of registered public domain names is still the best practice to, to name internal resources. The SSAC concurs with this best practice and encourages enterprises, device vendors, and others who require internally scoped names to use subdomains of registered public domain names wherever possible. However, this is not always feasible, and there are legitimate use cases for private use TLDs. And I'll just note that, you know, for example, example, an individual could register a domain with Hover, who, I don't know if, they should, if they're still a sponsor of the Twit Network, they are still my domain name provider. I moved everything away from Network Solutions I once agree. it became clear. Yeah. I don't think they're a sponsor how, anymore, but we still love them. Yep. They're the right guys. Yeah. Anyway, so, you know, you know Johnny Appleseed, you could get that. Oh, of course, you can't get dot Johnny Appleseed, so that wouldn't work. But But you could get you know, uh, a, a, a dot com or some inexpensive subdomain of some some established top level domain, and this you use that for your own purpose because you because you have that subdomain. Nobody else is 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 going to be able to 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 use it publicly. So you're 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 safe. So that so that's what these guys are saying. So they 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 continue the need for private use identifiers is not unique for domain names. And a useful analogy can be drawn between the uses of private IP address space and those of a private use TLD. Network operators use private IP address space to number resources not intended to be externally accessible, and private use TLDs are used by network operators in a similar fashion. This document proposes reserving a string in a manner similar to the current use of private IP address space. A similar rationale can be used to reserve more strings in case the need arises. Okay, so they go on and on. Anyway, finally, after all the bureaucratic boilerplate has settled down, ICANN wrote, The Internet Assigned Numbers Authority, IANA, has made a provisional determination that dot .internal should be reserved for private use and internal network applications. Prior to review and approval of this reservation by the ICANN board, we're seeking feedback on whether the selection complies with the specified procedure from SAC 113, more bureaucracy, and other observations that this string would be an 
uh, to verify that it would be an appropriate selection for this purpose. So it's all but certain that dot internal will be reserved and will never be used for any public purpose. And therefore, it would be that's safe good. for anyone to start using it for any internal that's purpose. Really yeah, nice I think to that's have. Thank very you. cool. Yeah. Dot internal. We And I saw some commentary saying, well, it only took 30 years. <laughs> it's like, that's true. Yeah, that's, yeah. That is true. That's true. It took them a little while. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast or just click one of the links below. <laughs>